in this presentation we will study unit impulse signal unit impulse signal or unit impulse function is also known as Dirac delta function named after theoretical physicist Paul Dirac unit impulse function is denoted by delta t and it exists only at t equal to 0 and everywhere else it is 0 and at t equal to 0 it rises to infinity so delta t is equal to infinity when time t is equal to 0 and it is 0 when time t is not equal to 0 and by using this definition we can easily plot the waveform the waveform of unit impulse function when time t is equal to 0 delta t rises to infinity and when time t is not equal to 0 delta t is equal to 0 now why we call impulse signal unit impulse signal what is the significance of a unit in unit impulse signal we define unit impulse signal as signal or function with unit area I will write this down this is very important point the area the area of unit impulse function is always is always equal to 1 so unit in unit impulse signal stands for unit area we can calculate the area by integrating delta t from minus infinity to infinity and it is always equal to 1 make one thing very clear this is the definition of unit impulse signal and by using this definition we have obtained this result now I will explain how delta t is equal to infinity when t is equal to 0 and delta t is equal to 0 when t is not equal to 0 and for this I will use the definition of unit impulse signal in the waveform we write 1 representing the area of unit impulse signal let's take signal y t which is equal to 1 by 2a when time t is less than a but greater than minus a now there is reason we have chosen 1 by 2a as the value of signal y t it will be clear after some time when t is not in this range y t is equal to 0 so y t is equal to 0 other y's now I will plot the waveform of signal y t when time t is between minus a and plus a y t is equal to 1 by 2a so we have the waveform like this 1 by 2a we have discontinuity in the plot when t is less than minus a y t is equal to 0 when t is greater than a y t is again equal to 0 let's try to find out area under the plot to find out area we need to integrate y t y t from minus infinity to infinity but there is no need to integrate y t from minus infinity to infinity because y t is not equal to 0 only from minus a to a so we can integrate from minus a to a the area is equal to base multiplied with the height this is the height equal to 1 by 2a and this is the base equal to 2a so area is 2a multiplied with 1 by 2a which is equal to 1 now what will happen if we decrease minus a and a and I'm talking about decrement in magnitude let's say we have minus a by 2 in place of minus a and a by 2 in place of a the new width the new width is equal to a initially the width was 2a but now width is a so width is reduced and to maintain the condition of unit area the height must increase so the height will increase and the new height is equal to 1 by a so the area is a multiplied with 1 by a 
which is equal to 1 so the condition of unit area is maintained and if we decrease the width more the height will increase more like this and when a tends to 0 the height or y t tends to infinity this is why when time t is equal to 0 delta t rises to infinity so this was the small introduction about the unit impulse signal the next lecture is very important we will discuss various properties of unit impulse signal if you have any doubt in this lecture you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one